on the one hand, you have the kind of principle of net neutrality, which I personally see as a kind of First Amendment of the Internet. In terms of freedom of speech, uh, there's a link already there. But also in terms of um, how important it is uh, for democracy uh, to have an open platform uh, that does not privilege one actors above another. The main benefit, I would argue, uh, in terms of an open internet uh, is that everybody is on a level playing field. Uh, so that uh, small companies have similar uh, access to customers, fans, uh, users uh, of their services than big corporations or uh, huge conglomerates. By having a, a level playing field, uh, obviously that creates incentives and that creates opportunities. What they are trying to do now is to say, well, uh, big companies, uh, there are business opportunities there to provide uh, those that can pay with better services, better access to internet users. The other side of that coin is, of course, that smaller players will uh, be disadvantaged uh, in terms of getting access to uh, internet users and that certain services will be privileged. Internet providers will be able to offer packages which privileges certain actors above other actors in terms of particular services. Support for net neutrality has already been uh, addressed by the European Parliament uh, recently by adopting a motion that they support uh, net neutrality. Uh, the United States is much more ambivalent uh, in that regard, uh, but I think here in Europe uh, there is kind of an understanding that that's an important feature and characteristic of the internet. I think an open internet would benefit that free flow of information and goods uh, within the European Union.